So this is our blank page. And here we can see uh, that we have just uh, an serve our application. And in this, we have only one module. That is one is app module. And inside that we have a home module. Okay, so now we are going to generate one more uh, module so that we can navigate between pages okay so here we call it a page okay so what's the command for that that is anic g4 generate and page and the name of the page that is second page then hit enter okay it will automatically create the page and do the routing and app routing module as you can see uh yeah here it is automatically generated through cli okay i just clear the things and just hit it refresh okay so now we have to navigate from one page to another that is from home page to second page so for that i just need to make a button and on that button i will implement on click event so for iron button on click we need to go checking page okay. second page and i will remove these property except shape and on click i just copy the event name and write the logic behind <coughs> yeah this is so for this we need uh, one import that is router okay it is in, inside angular slash router uh, it helps in navigating the pages navigating between pages or you can say the components so we'll use it this dot router dot navigate and here we have to us the path okay so we'll go to app dot or app dot routing dot module dot ps and copy the this path name that is second dash page and paste it over here with a forward slash and just save so you can see here button and it is just saving it's on a click and we are in a second page okay so now we will create this component list container and inside that we will create one profile image component and other is detail about the user component and we'll reuse these component in different pages without writing the HTML code over and over again so let's begin so now we just need to create one component and that is uh, one module for the component where it contain all the list of the small component it is called component module so we will generate module component okay we generate module component and okay inside uh, it is created inside a folder uh, with a name component okay so just hit enter and you can see over here one component folder has been generated and inside that we will have our module and this this is our module okay it will be uh, it will contain all the components together now we'll generate the component ionic generate component N E N T okay and the component is a file image okay inside container component container okay it is not a known feature okay component I think component spelling is Unique generate 
can see over here the component is spelling i think okay component and name is profile image okay so it will generate one component that is profile image here it has generated i think i just mistaken we just copy this and in, inside our component folder yes move okay now okay what i did uh, a big mistake so i will just clarify what is it panic generate i need to specify this component just user sorry, user detail okay for which i forgot that is uh, to specify the component what we are generating and this is the component and this is the component name so just hit it enter and now it will generate the component inside the folder itself so you can see we don't have to now copy that can see yeah this is user detail okay this is inside component so i just copied things okay now it is okay now we have all things in parallel okay anything i just did uh, something mistake refresh it okay just reload it just exit and it's showing some error okay now it's okay so maybe sometime it doesn't configure the things so we'll do annex of once again so this is it now we gonna import all these profile image and user detail uh, component to our component container and here it is we just need to declare it why it is here comma and the other is user okay. user detail component and it is now we have to export it okay everything that needs to be imported has to be exported from one place so we just write export colon and it is an array so we'll just copy the same okay and this is it now i just copy this class export class component module and where i want to use it i will use it okay for example i want to use it my home page so i will import it here in home dot module and it is imported now what i will do in html okay in html where i have created button below that i just use a br tag okay so that i will create a space now i just need to use this selector make sure that you simply copy and paste it because sometimes it happens that you may do a spelling mistake like i did okay and the other one is where it is user okay selector user detail copy it I just paste it over here okay so okay here it is some error 